Hello everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use filters in Abyss Paint X. So firstly you're going to want to choose the layer that you're going to use it on. We're going to use it on this thumbnail layer right here. Please bear in mind that whatever layer you use that will be the only one that the filter will work on. So you're going to want to go over here to the filter menu. Here there are loads of different sections. You have all, which is just all the filters. Adjust color, speaks for itself. Blur, style, so it makes things more stylized. Raw, AI, which is an auto paint one. I have not tried that yet. Artistic, pixelate, transform, and frame. So first we're going to be scrolling through some of the all ones. Here it shows all of them. Bear in mind that you, if you don't have the premium subscription, you can't get certain ones. Like the gradation map for, the, for example. Let's look at the adjust colors. So this speaks for itself. Grayscale will make it black and white. Color balance will just change the balance of the colors as you shift the bars. Hue saturation just literally saturates however you want it to be. Saturation is the brighter a color is. And then you have the lightness, which speaks for itself. Brightness and contrast just changes how bright it is. The contrast is the different bet difference between colors. So that's what those two are changing. There are a couple more there. There's monocolor, which is just making something monochrome of the color that you pick. Now let's go into blur. There are a few different types of blur here. We're going to start with Gaussian blur, which I've used in a tutorial before. It makes a really nice glowy kind of blur. Very pretty. You have Zooming Blue, which you probably see quite a bit in memes. Then you have the Moving Blue, which is literally just making it look like it's moving. Lens Blue speaks for itself. Mosaic just pixelates it. Unsharp. I'm also not too sure what it does, but it looks funky. Then you have the frosted glass. Now on to the style one. I'm only going to show a couple here. But these just all make it kind of a bit more stylized. So let's go for the wet edge. I seem to be blending it in a tiny bit, but you can't see it too much. Look at glow. Bevel. Okay, now onto the draw section. Parallel gradation just makes a nice gradient between two different colors. This is really pretty, and I haven't used it much, but I should. There's a gradation menu here, and you can choose whatever one that you want. I think it's really pretty. Might use that in the future more actually. I really like it, that's nice. Okay, let's have a look at the other ones. There's this gradation, which is the same. This one, radial line. Kind of like a comic book effect. And another line one. Let's go on to AI. There's auto paint, but I'm pretty sure that only works if your drawing is just line art. So I'm going to grab some line art and then show you how that works at the end of the video. Artistic, you have some really nice looking ones. You have the glitch and the channel shifting. Just some super pretty ones. I really love the glitch effect personally. When it's not on super strong it can look really nice. Let's go on to Pixelate. 
just a bunch of different ways to pixelate the drawing. It speaks for itself. Transform. Legit just transforms it. That is it. And there are a few different types. I like the wave one personally. Now the last one, frame those just make grids and frames on the outside. That was most of the filters, feel free to look in them yourself, they are really really nice. Now when you choose a filter, let's just choose grayscale, when you've chosen one just click the tick and then you are free to exit the menu and it is saved on that layer. So I just grabbed some line art and I made it transparent and auto paint. That's funky. It doesn't work quite like what I thought it would, but that's cool. That is how to use all the filters in the Vista Paint X, well most of them. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed and if you did maybe consider leaving a like or a comment. Bye!